John? Marshal? Gentlemen! <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Esconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go! All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, Rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. A moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. Now I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! Yeah! Get your thumb out of Get them, John!
like a dang pig. Them cocksucking song bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. All right, boys, let's finish this. That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! Gentlemen, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! What the Get the hell? goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Let's do this. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparosa. I think he said. That's <laughs> bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with a love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. 